In this problem, we're being asked to look at how the leading coefficient, so that number multiplied by the highest term of a parabola, affects the shape of the graph. And we have a variety of equations here, and we're being asked to um, show whether it opens up or down, which one's the widest, which one's the narrowest. So I think the best place to start is with a graphing program just to investigate parabolas in general. What I've done is typed in just the, the parent graph, the mother function, y equals x squared. And you can see this typical parabolic shape uh, opening upwards. What affects whether it opens upwards or downwards is the sign of this leading coefficient. So if I put a negative sign, it flips it down. So if you see a negative in front of the x squared term, it opens down. If you see a positive, it opens up. And all this other stuff that might come after, like you know, you had an x term, had some other number, all that stuff doesn't really matter. It just translates it left and right and up and down. So we're not going to worry about that for now. Let's look at what happens with the leading coefficient. So right now, the leading coefficient is 1. If we double that, it squeezes it. It makes it narrower. If we multiply that by 10, it makes it even narrower. By 100, even narrower. So the bigger the number here, the narrower it's going to get. Of course, if it's negative and a big number, it's narrow and it's upside down. Now let's examine some other numbers. Let's um, do less than 1 but greater than 0, so these fractions. Let's start with 1 half. Ah, so that made it wider. If we go to 1 fourth, wider still, 1 tenth, even wider, 1 hundredth, very, very wide. So the smaller this fraction is, the closer it is to 0, uh, the wider it's going to get. So just to review, bigger numbers here, greater than 1, the bigger, the narrower. Numbers between 1 and 0, the less the number is, the smaller the number is, the wider the parabola gets. And of course, a negative number just means upside down. All right, I think we can answer these questions now. So the first one says, for each parabola, choose whether it opens up or down. I've got a positive here, so that opens up. I've got a negative here, so that opens down. Positive here, so it opens up. And negative here, so it opens down. OK, that's not too hard. Then it says, choose the parabola with the widest graph. And remember, wider graphs were fractions that were less than 1, greater than 0. Um, and let's see, 1 half is the smallest fraction here, the closest one to 0. It's uh, smaller than 2 thirds. So this one is going to have the widest graph. And then choose the parabola with the narrowest graph. The parabola with the narrowest graph had the largest uh, coefficient. So we've got a 1 here, 2 thirds, 1 half, and here's 4. doesn't matter that it's negative 4. That just means it's going to be a narrow one that opens downward. So this one is our narrowest graph. So that is a little bit of work with how the leading coefficient affects the shape of a parabola.